In this video, I will discuss about the EMI electromagnetic interference filtering using common mode choke. So, I have discussed this common mode choke in the uh, SMPS point of view. So, SMPS that is switch mode power supplies, so which is uh, commonly used for many applications. So, besides, they are having many advantages like uh, uh, high efficiency, small size, compact. Uh, it is having disadvantages like generation of the electromagnetic interference. So, how why this electromagnetic interference is generated? Because mm, this SMPS is operating at a very high frequency, and this rapid changing of current and voltage produces the electromagnetic interference. So, it is necessary to filter out this mm, electromagnetic interference, both it is radiating and the conducting noise. So, in addition to uh, uh, reducing the electromagnetic interference, it should also be EMC, this electromagnetic uh, compliance. So, it should not be affected by any uh, noise source that is generated by any other uh, edge sense source. So, if you see this circuit uh, showing a typical uh, sources of the electromagnetic interference, here the rate of change of voltage across this which will also generate the uh, EMI and the rate of change of current in the primary and secondary sets will generate uh, the electromagnetic interference. So, there are established standards to control the both the conducted and radiated electromagnetic interference in the electronic equipment. So, um, control of electromagnetic interference is outlined in part 15 of FCC rules and regulations. So, in addition to this, there is another widely used standard is CIS PR22, which is um, commonly used in uh, European community. So, EMI can be transmitted uh, by conductors that is uh, through wires or it may be coupled through a capacitor and inductive means or it may be transmitted via the free space uh, in, the, in, in the form of radiation. So, there are three requirements for this electromagnetic interference. One is source of interference and then the transmission medium, it may be conductor or through air or susceptible receiver. So, if you limit any of uh, these uh, three who can uh, reduce the electromagnetic interference. So, FCC rules decree that any spurious signal greater than 10 kHz is subjected to the FCC rules and regulations. So, according to this conducted EA emissions uh, that is RF signals that is contained on the conductor that is on the AC power bus must be controlled in the frequency band between 0.45 to 30 MHz and the radiated emissions in the range of um, 30 MHz to uh, 1000 MHz. And FCC further categorizes the digital electronic equipment into class A, so which is used for industrial, commercial and business environment and class B that is designated for use in a residential environment. So examples of class B devices are personal computers, calculators and similar devices that are used for uh, by the general public. Emission standards are more restrictive for class B devices since they are more likely to be located close to other electronic uh, devices used in the home like microwave ovens, refrigerators, etc. FCC class A conductive uh, EMI limit is for uh, 0.45 to 1.6 thousand microvolts and 1.6 to 30 megahertz uh, 3000 microvolts and same if you see for um, class B device it's uh, limited to 250 microvolts which is very less and for um, radiated EMI limit so that is FCC class A 30 meter radiated EMI limit is for different frequencies and similarly for a class B device you can see this is a 3 meter radiated EMI limit because the in uh, industry and in, sorry in uh, household applications the device are uh, located close together so they, they are um, defined for uh, 3 meter radiated limits so uh, conducted EMI suppression so um, mainly I will discuss in this video about um, conducted EMI suppression filter so we will see what are the different types of uh, noise that is generated uh, in the conductors one is common mode noise another is differential mode noise if you see in the left side figure the common mode noise uh, is generated because of uh, the stray uh, capacitance so the um, current is uh, common in both the conductors and it is um, flowing in this uh, same direction both the conductors and it is going to the uh, V common that is ground. If you, see, if you see in uh, differential mode noise in the right side figure, so differential mode noise will be mm, in the opposite direction uh, in the two conductors. So the differential mode noise generally uh, occurs at the low frequency and it is uh, can be eliminated by using a capacitor uh, across the line. 
and for eliminating the common mode noise we are uh, using uh, the bipolar uh, common mode joke which we will going to discuss in the next slide uh, this is how this um, differential mode and common mode interference will be generated so because of uh, the stray and parasitic uh, capacitance so the common mode interference will be generated so this is the choke so which we are uh, using for eliminating the common mode noise so this is having four uh, terminals so for a differential uh, mode uh, signal so generally for the applications uh, for the uh, carrying the information so the signal is transmitted in the form of the differential uh, way so this choke should not affect that signal so it should only attenuate uh, the common mode signal we will see how this is done by this uh, choke so for the common mode signal so the um, at the inlet at the incoming side if you see the common mode noise is in both in both the terminals is in the same direction so because of this there is a net magnetic flux that is generated uh, in the uh, choke and this uh, causes an inductance net inductance so the uh, common mode uh, choke will offering an inductance and this inductance will limit uh, the common mode noise same for the differential signal so if you see uh, the currents are in opposite directions and for differential signal the net flux is uh, zero because of uh, the opposite direction of the flux that is generated so it will cancel each other the net flux uh, will be zero for differential signal so the differential uh, signal will not be affected by this uh, common mode choke here we can see so the flux from common mode current is added together to become an inductor whereas the flux from differential current cancel so the does not act as an inductor it will just act as a wire for passing of the signal so you can see this is a bipolar uh, one choke uh, typical impedance versus frequency characteristic so it um, offers very minimum impedance uh, for the differential mode uh, signal whereas the same it will offers very high impedance so it will eliminate or uh, attenuates uh, the common mode signal because it offering very high uh, impedance this is the typical um, example showing uh, the location of the various filters so the incoming power supply that is going to switch mode power supply it is uh, uh, comes through various filters so if you can see the x capacitor that is placed across the line which will suppress the differential mode noise if anything is present so and the common mode uh, noise can be suppressed by using this common mode choke and uh, there is a y capacitor which will uh, suppress uh, the common mode noise and in addition to this there is another capacitor x capacitor which if any uh, differential noise that is present uh, it will be suppressed at this uh, end so the position of this uh, capacitors can be placed between this situ mode power supply and also load if the load is uh, critical so there is a uh, different types of uh, cap filters to be uh, placed so that to minimize the noise thank you for watching my video